airport to see the deer. There's 59 lady deer, 46 calves, and then there's four stacks. Now to our left, you've got one of the young stags. We've got a two-year-old, so he is two-year-old. His name is Tiny. There are two other stags. That is George and there's Louie. And they're somewhere around, keeping out the way of Rufus. And that is Rufus. Now Rufus will talk to us and his ladies, and he'll tell his ladies not to come up to the trailer. But I expect they'll disobey him. Now he does have to patrol them day and night. Now what happens is the stag sheds his antlers. Whilst his antlers are growing, they're fragile. They are covered in velvet. The velvet peels off. He's left with a big set of antlers like we've got there. Now once his antlers have hardened off, he's got rid of the velvet. That is the first week in September. He comes to the ladies and he starts making a noise. He starts getting smelly, producing a pheromone, and that triggers the lady season. 21 days later, and that Jenny is the last week in September, they come in season. He patrols them day and night. For the first three weeks, he doesn't have any luck, but the, by the last week in September, he's taken them out to dinner. And I must admit, hopefully they don't do it just now, but on the last safari, he was taking some out to dinner. <laughs> anyway, they've all come up here, and this one's climbing on the trailer. We don't need to do that. I'm going to ask you to take a lot of food, and you hold your hand flat, and then you'll be able to feed them. Go. Wow. Not every day you say you've got an old deer between your legs, is it? <laughs> Come on, guys, grab a big handful of food. Come on, grab some. Now, Rufus had two big fights yesterday. He had a fight with George and he had a fight with Louis because they thought he was getting tired and they challenged him. Oh. So he's been fighting, and when we were down here last time, he was working very hard. So he's, uh, he's having a rest. Always getting up now, though. Not very fast. Hello, Now, the rut will be finished by Christmas, and from Christmas time, he'll be coming up. Every time he roars, he's pumping out a pheromone, which enforces his dominance, we'll see. and it's triggering the ladies' season. Well, we're now, what we, 18th, so probably the first season of all the ladies is just about done. He's covered quite a few, so it's a bit of a quiet time, but in another 21 days, there'll be some more coming in season. Again, he'll be taking them out. They have three seasons, so by the middle of November, technically, he's covered now, them all. Up, and then swing left river, head toward those ladies. Some of those come up to feed, and then we'll probably go to the waterway as well, see what happens, all right? Well, Rufus is not letting them go for a swim. He's calling them up here. And we're going to annoy him now because some of the ladies are following us. So he'll come and tell them off. And some little calves as well. See the deer over the other side of the road there? Now, the first calves we see born is the last week in May. And when they are first born, they look just like Bambi. <laughs> And that is all about camouflage. Because a young deer calf is not very good at controlling his legs, just like Bambi in the movie. So nature's given the camouflage and mum will hide him. Now he is weeing on his front legs. And the reason is when he takes a young lady out to dinner, he scent marks her. And if she were silly enough to go out with someone else, that scent mark would be on her and Rufus would tear her off and possibly even kill her. So he's weighing on his front legs to make sure all the ladies know that he's the boss. 
and he's telling me off at the moment for coming in this direction. Anyway, are you going to feed him a bit more for me? He's not happy, is he? Now, is there any brave people? Because if you got out there, he would see us as a threat and he'd chase you off. So if you can run more than 30 miles an hour, you're welcome to get out and see who wins, all right? <laughs> Now, normally red deer hate humans. Um, we have been a predator to them for centuries. So you don't see a lot at all. But in our deer park, all the young females are all homebred. And our first species came in here for the first time in 1983. So the girls are all related. But the boys are literally purchased in from other unrelated deer parks. Oh, you're strong. They are a phenomenally strong beast. Now, the older ladies rule the roost, and these are the older, stronger females. The older ladies and the youngsters keep out of their way, particularly the trailer, because they'll tell them off. And they can rear up on their back legs and box. So here comes some of the naughty girls. Look, they've even brought a little calf up. He's a four-year-old. If you look at his antlers, they're not as big and impressive as Rufus is. Well, one male can look up after up to 70 females. Um, with a stag, they actually have to fight for the dominant. Sticking his head forever, you can smell a pretty aftershave. Little scent marker. These ladies are his by the silver. Look at <laughs> what have you done to your leg, Mrs? <laughs> <laughs> now that's the two-year-old come off, so he's telling the two-year-old to go away. <laughs> Come up here, that's what all that noise is. 